Hey everyone, welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip and this soldier has the right idea. Bundle up, it's cold outside. It's 14 degrees, but don't worry, I'm bringing the heat today with Doomsday. It's a 4v4 scrim to anticipate the season. I am assuming of the UGC 4v4 season. Let's meet the teams. It won't take too long now, will it? We have Zebravs. <laughs> Zebras V as a medic. We have, oh, the teams. You want to know the teams? Why would you want to know that? We have two forts, lead poison mercs in blue versus Colt cuddlers in red. So we have Zebras as medic user, hashtag ring me as dumb a man gamer is scout vidkill is soldier. He's all bundled up, ready to go snowboarding. Over on CC, we have Tycoon as soldier, Sainomi is scout, Oz is medic, and Vladimir Putin is pyro. These classes subject to change because nothing is constant in Tia or in 4v4 except change. So here we go, we are going to start. We are on Doomsday. Oh man, that uh, announcer lady, her chatty here on Doomsday. Doomsday, for those of you who don't remember, uh, was a map that was brought out with Meet the Pyro. What you gotta do is bring the intelligence to the giant rocket thing and it will send it in the air to who knows what. Right now we're watching Vinkill get a nice flank right here on the medic. He knows the map, but he doesn't know that the med is running that vaccinator, which uh, prevents a lot of that explosive damage. However, Oz took a lot of damage right there, but still able to pop that uh, the vaccinator. I'm um, doing really good work with it. L did lose a uh, little bit of uh, support right there, but I managed to hook up with Tycoon. That was Vladimir Putin who went down. Um, but, you know, did hook up with that... Uh that's a soldier man tycoon right there so they're making their way to that rocket which will send the intel into space where it there's some sort of story behind it who knows what the story is but uh just need to get on the rocket and they will launch that platform to take it up into the web the disguise of the whatever um but of course blue team can at any point jump on this but some nice reflect work coming out of uh vladimir Putin right there he is going to jump down and try to get some kills to help out his team um blue med is going to try to help out as well but looks like this first round is going to go pretty quickly to uh cc although they did lose the intel see the intel has to be on the platform not just a red player so it's not like a uh, high tower or, or any of those payload where uh, any presence on the cart will move it. It's of course the uh, the intel on the cart, or in this case, big platform that makes it. But you gotta stay on there. It looks like uh, Tycoon's a little tipsy. This is why you do not drink before you play Doomsday, ladies and gentlemen. And he actually goes down right there, so Gamer finished him off. Without those heals, he was a very, very vulnerable. But that uh, intel is so close on that. Uh, so close to that uh, that platform right there and once it goes all the way down in times it'll respawn at uh, the original location then blue has a chance to pick it up and uh, for them to cap it so it's a little capture the flag a little well i mean it's capture the flag but uh it's it's a different type than you usually see in terms of a, a turbine or uh or we've seen in competitive uh on like haunt or something but regardless, it looks like uh, Intel has gone back. So, uh, Blue has picked it up. It is Gamer who has it right now. And you can tell the stream of yellow coming out. And there's lots of... I don't even know what... Oh, I guess it... This game is so weird. But anyway, he's not able... Was that a sock? Did he drop a sock? Gamer, you forgot your sock. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so the time goes quickly on this little timer thing. And uh, Blue has to touch it really, really soon here. Or otherwise, all their hard work is going to be for not. Remember, it is still 0-0. Zero, zero. I do not know the time or the, the score we're going to. But there's only 17 minutes left. So I'm thinking it's Capture the Flag rules for UGC. Uh, which is first till 10 caps. Uh, which seems like a lot when there's only four people. Um, but maybe that's not too many. Anyway, we will play and uh, we'll cast until they stop playing. And uh, say no me right there, taking down enemy soldier. And no, you can't catch that intel. You gotta wait for it to respawn right on that axe. So red doing a good job. They need to make sure they secure the areas. But there's so many areas that blue can come in from right now. They are gonna put their soldier up here, um, where blue is most likely to come from. And of course, blue is gonna come through the tunnel, which they are not at right there. Oh, and actually, some presence right here on the upper. Um, upper ledge. Of course, Doomsday not played a lot in competitive, so I'm not sure that any of these have official, some of these locations have official names. Um, so I'm just going to call them as I see them. But right now, Red with a good job getting to the point. They have those overheels. They have Vladimir Pudding ready to uh, 
cap this, and they also have that explosive vaccinator shield over him. Um, so unless anybody from blue can get here, and there's uh, some player presence, I think blue might be able to do something, but no, Gamer goes down, and he, what's, as the fastest class, might have been their only hope, but no, Ankum's a jumping soldier who does a good job to knock Vladimir putting off. Vladimir, though, has seven health left, did survive, still has that, uh, oh, he's got to watch out. So he still has that, uh, the suitcase that is dropping socks like mad. There's oh my goodness. So he needs those heels. In comes this medic to uh, get him those crit heels. And now they have to go back to the point. But that gave enough time for Blue to regroup and uh, try to get some presence up here, which is a good idea. If you control this area, you have a really easy uh, task of just spamming down on the platform to take out the enemy team that is capping. And there we go. Vladimir Pudding takes a rocket to the face from courtesy of Vin Kill. And uh, that's going to be another defense. Though Vin Kill's the only one left alive. Uh, so defense for how long is the question. Oz may be stuck? No, he was just waiting for someone to come and get him. Um, well, I'm not sure what's going on here, but they need to just get time on that uh, platform. Waiting for some explosive classes. Looks like somebody may be lagging here, but uh, regardless, looks like CC. Maybe this will be the first cap we see? Maybe, potentially, possibly? Vladimir Putin was up here patrolling that area, but of course uh, Blue took an in uh, took a wipe, so they needed to wait for this respawn, so I uh, gotta attack that area, but really? Oh no! Some huge bombs in from Vinkill. Vinkill's been doing major amounts of work defending right now. Is he... Yeah, definitely. Uh, number one in the server on points. He does, uh, succeed in helping his team out, but now they've gotta go back and get that, uh, intel for themselves, because somebody's gotta copy it here, guys. Somebody. So Gamer did pick it up with his fast little scout legs. We'll carry it to the point, but definitely needs that support of Vinkill and the like. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with 4v4, I should probably have started out with this, but uh, 4v4 is a new style of TF2 that is coming to a server near you. Some nice engagement right here at mid. Both meds staying alive and popping that vaccinator like crazy. Gamer trying to go after the med kill. Zebra took a lot of damage, but gets a hell, so will survive. Um, meanwhile, Oz goes down right there connected to a rocket from Vinkill, but Vinkill loses his medic too! Oh man, it's only a user alive for blue right here. Three up, four red, um, so they will probably be able to guard that, uh, that suitcase pretty effectively. As it, yep, now has, now has already respawned at its location, so that spawn timer so fast. I mean, there's only eight people on this map, it's gonna be respawning a lot. So I, don't, I haven't been keeping track, but that's got to be like with the sixth, seventh time it's respawned there at its original location. Oh, wow. So anyway, back to 4v4. 4v4 is awesome. Uh, as you can tell, it's fast-paced, lots of fun. Uh, and UGC is starting up a new league. Andy Vich, um, who really spawned this idea of a 4v4 and has been single-handedly keeping it going in turn with them. Um, well, not single-handedly. He's held had help, but he's been doing a great job as an individual. But uh, he's been keeping it going with tournaments and the like and uh, personally funding some show matches um, that Sal and I casted a couple weeks ago. So definitely check out anything you can on 4v4. It's really, really fun to watch. Uh, haven't had the chance to play it yet, but... Uh, We'll see. I should probably do that one these days. Vladimir Putin does have this uh, suitcase trying to get to the point. Again, having that pyro um, is going to be so essential on this platform. We saw him do some crazy reflecting work uh, earlier, but the thing is he needs his medic with him because we've seen that Vin Krill has been Vin Kill has been crazy with those bombing ins and uh, definitely shown himself to be a very capable soldier. Vin Kill did go down, so he has that threat out of the way, but in comes a dumb man just spamming stickies, but with that vaccinated and explosive damage, oh man, Vladimir Pudding goes down, but Oz picks up the intel, he drops from the platform, and right now he's on his own, pulls out the needers, he's not going to be able to survive this, oh, he had a vaccinator, but couldn't pop it in time. Don't worry though, in comes Tycoon to pick up the intel and uh, makes his way to the platform. Doesn't realize the scout behind him and takes too much damage and goes down. Now it's, that intel is covered in stiggies, courtesy of user hashtag bring me. And uh, we'll probably be going back real soon. This vaccinator, vaccinator, uh, of course, banned in a regular. Yeah, it's banned in regular UGC. Um, but seen a lot of. Gameplay in... Uh, is this a band in regular... Nobody plays it in regular UGC, so I'm guessing it's banned. Um, it's gotta be banned. Anyway, uh, but... <laughs> nice anticipation right there to take down... Oh, Tycoon. Actually, it's uh, Vinkil who finishes off Tycoon and gets finished off himself right there. 
but the vaccinator, um, of course, you can pop it uh, many more times than you uh, normally would in a regular Uber. It charges much faster than even the quick fix. And you can uh, pop it to uh, take less explosive damage, less bullet damage, or less fire damage. So uh, we've been seeing bullet and explosives, mostly explosives, not a lot of fire resistance um, popped yet out of that vaccinator. But Mm, certainly not to uh, no lack of trying here from our uh, pyros because uh, definitely I, I do like both teams running the pyro right here. Um, well, we did have both teams running the pyro. No, but then were you, you, was you okay? Well, I definitely like the fact that CC is running the pyro. I think having that pyro, um, especially as one of your classes who's capping a lot or trying to cap a lot uh, on the platform, is going to uh, make. Surviving a little bit easier. We've been seeing they've still had definitely hard, hard times surviving on that platform. Um, but I, we'll see uh, as they adapt and change. But uh, those stickies definitely can uh, make their way in. Both teams are in the vaccine. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I'd like a, I'd like a crits just because I like crits more, and mostly because I hate, 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 hate the noise the vaccinator makes. Um, that noise, that noise. That's like needles on a chalkboard to me. So uh, I'm sorry if I uh, don't get a lot of medic picks on cam, but I cannot stand that noise. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, Vladimir with the a Oh, the caber kill coming in. Take him out, but then Sonomi finishing off Zebra. Where is the intel is the question. Oh, it's on top of the burning bodies. Red, nobody alive. Finally, Vin kill or this Tycoon coming in here and does cap it, or, or does pick it up but he was super super hurt and he does get finished off right there by Vinkill who's gonna go and just stand right behind beside it or right behind it I guess that's kind of behind it um oh but in comes Vladimir some nice reflex uh prevent Vinkill from doing much action right there but Vladimir did get a finger on it that means the uh, spawn timer will reset but of course it goes so fast I'm guessing this is like Five seconds. I'll have to count the next time, but it is the fastest respawn time I've seen in any Capture the Flag map. Um, Soldier Tycoon coming in here, trying to get a finger on it, but not able to do so, and it will respawn. Is anybody there for Blue waiting for it is the question, and looks like it's going to be Vladimir Putin who is closest to it. He will encounter pesky little scout gamer right here, who's been doing a lot of the heavy legwork, and by heavy legwork, I mean fast legwork um, for his team. So, remember, we are 0-0, zero, zero, but there's been so much action. It's amazing that only eight players on this map can um, be around so much and killing so much. A soldier coming in trying to get a jump there, but Tycoon missing uh, the corner, so wasn't able to get uh, a finger on that intel, so it will probably respawn. And Gamer this time is going to be ready to cap it. He does, and he is on the hunt. Watch out for the banana peel! I don't know why there's a banana peel in the sewer, but regardless, that is what's going on here. So Gamer getting to the platform, but meeting a ton of resistance. In fact, the entire red team, but his team is there for backups as well. We have a nice jump in here from Tycoon. Um, Medic does pop that uh, vaccinator to survive, and Tycoon went down to a pill right there. Vladimir Pudding gets finished off as well. Only two up right now for red, so uh, really just scout on the point and everyone else needs to make sure anybody on red goes down red med doing great work right here just sending needles up and trying to get some height advantage um really could be doing yeah a lot of good work getting good positioning right there but i think this is gonna be it oh wait just kidding in comes the soldier tycoon no not able to make it happen but it was a distraction ploy it was a distraction ploy because vladimir is there to finish off gamer on the point and then keep anybody else from blue to get it maybe possibly no they need to stay on the point but they fell down oh man it sucks not be a jumper class where is it intel though who has okay so Matic has the intel and they are just trying to um, buy some time to get onto the point, but that, oh, Vladimir is being a real pill. Uh, he does go down, Vinkill takes him out. Oh, we'll see if, oh, 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 Tycoon with the big bomb in. But that, the yeah, man, the intel is just so close. All you have to do is just pick it up and then stand on the platform for just a little bit longer. Some nice stickies going down. We'll see if user can, um, protect the platform right now a little bit of an early deploy but it looks like red is coming from behind that's red scout uh doesn't look like soldier dozy's there but no sonomi is finished off right there Vin kill will they have the first cap right here everybody from red is trying to get on there oz actually did get Vin kill but don't <laughs> with the needles but don't worry gamer is there to pick it up and he and his men will be able to put the suitcase in the thing to shoot the thing to go to the thing that will help them win the thing but regardless that will be the first cap Woo! 
that only took 14 minutes. I think we started at 20 minutes. Uh, so I'm thinking two 20 minute halves is what's gonna go on for this, uh, for this map. But wow, so now we see maybe why it's not played in competitive too much, most because it's impossible to capture that intel. But uh, I really think 4v4 is definitely the way to go for this map on intel though or for this map to be played competitively. Uh, a lot of fun, definitely possible to um, to capture that intel as we saw the uh, TLMP, that's two forts, lead poisoned mercs, are uh, leading right now. We're just gonna go with red and blue because there's no way I'm saying that more than once. So we have Colt Cuddlers, which is equally as hard to say. So you have red and blue, blue in the lead. Let's take a look at points real quick. Um, interesting meds, not that up there in points, which in Highlander and Sixes, usually the first thing you see on that list is meds leading in points. But um, in this, in 4v4, it's not necessarily about getting those points, getting those kills and assists. It's about keeping your team alive and you're not gonna get as many points as, you know, um, putting out fires as you will. Oh, that has hurt. Um, wow, this is really fast. I'm sorry, I don't even have a chance to finish my, my thought because uh, it looks like Colt Cuddlers are gonna be able to capture this in no time. Let's take a look at the actual action that happens right here as they put the suitcase in the thing. Um, they'll send the thing to Mars or um, Jupiter where, oh, but the nice bomb in there. Oh, a brilliantly placed sticky takes down Vladimir Pudding. But we do have one scout left. Will he rule them all? He's got to deal with scout with his own medic and a soldier coming in there as well. Wow, Tycoon finishes off Vinkill. Tycoon's still alive, but he has to deal with this dang old medic. Uh, Tycoon only with about 30 health left has to deal with, oh, he takes down Gamer right there. If he needs to just get on the point, um, this medic probably won't be able to take him alone. Oh my goodness, how long does it take to get this platform up where it needs to be? And will Tycoon get any reinforcements? What was that bomb in from a flying demo man? But user goes down right there. Vladimir putting finish him off. Red team is here to help out Tycoon. And it looks like they might uh, be able to do so. Vilkill is going to have something to say about that. Never mind, he is dead. Only gamer up right now for uh, blue team and he goes down but you should just respawn oh my god these spawns too are crazy it looks like though cc is in a position to be able to capture this um just a few minutes into this second round there he goes suitcase goes in rocket goes off and the world is saved once again so we are tied up one to one and that one took yeah just a few minutes compared to the uh lengthy one we saw the first round so Zebra is now on crits, which I like because it doesn't make my ears bleed. Um, but it's also uh, one of those things where we're seeing these points, uh, the, the intel has could be capped only if the other team is wiped because just even one class, we've seen medics with needles out are able to stop captures on the point. So if you have a crits, uh, the idea there would be you wipe out the entire team your entire other team and then uh, pretty much leave the platform to yourself for an easy capture right there. Oh man, Tycoon. Take out user right there, but uh, user's pill got his revenge. Intel has yet to be touched. It is a nice neutral beige when it is not uh, captured. So I know he does get it though and get some overheal or not overheals because he's with the vaccinate war. Um, or on his medic, I separate from him. Um, trying to get there on the point. So I think, yeah, we'll see the crits is popped right there. Vinkil does get Tycoon. Uh, Sonomi gets finished off by us uh, users and has Sticky. So it's not the crits um, doing the work right there. But oh, it's the Kaber user should not be having Kaber kills when there's only four people for him to kill. But that's his second one this match. That's ridiculous. Uh, Vinkil, I mean, uh, Zebra stayed alive after. No, he's respawning right there, isn't he? Never mind. But regardless, um, crits was okay right there. It definitely stopped the capture. Uh, the suitcase is respawned, and Blue now has possession of it. Zebra's got to watch out in terms of uh, health, and knowing this map and where that health is is going to be absolutely key for any of these teams. And that's going to be so annoying because the only place you can play this is on um, pu is pubs or on scrims or four v four. So. Uh, or I guess, I mean, you obviously just mess around yourself, but it, it's annoying because this is not one of those maps that everybody plays and everybody knows where um, that the, the ammo and the health is. It's uh, one of those things you have to devote time to and it's like, well, I really don't want to play time 
spend time playing... Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but Doomsday, competitive, Doomsday. Can't be uh, that too much fun to learn because it's absolutely nuts. I can't say anybody's camera is going to stay alive for more than a second. Uh, looks like user has gone pyro, so I like that. Uh, I wonder if it's just uh, to combat Vlad. Or uh, what what, uh, what is, is thinking right there was. Because they are tied. Um, but I do think the pyro on the platform is just something really, really OP. But now we're gonna have some pyro be pyro action, and uh, looks like a user's gonna go down because Sonomi got involved. Sonomi with the 2k going on right now. We'll see if you can finish off that 1k that really matters, and that's the k that has that suitcase. One more shot, and Gamer does go down, but this time it's Vladimir Putin who got involved. And so that time will slowly, and by slowly I mean rapidly, tick back. And Red, I wonder why they're not setting themselves in a position right now to recapture, because there's no way Blue is going to be anywhere near that. But uh, right now it looks like Blue is uh, the only one in position to touch that uh, intel and get it out of there. Vin Kill is on the hunt. Oh, but in comes a Red on uh, the upper uh, bridge, we'll call it. Out comes the Uber Saw, too. Zebra! Did get Oz and has his crits ready to go. It's a damn shame it's not an Uber. He could survive off of that. But uh, he will be able to connect with his pyre right here. Remember, Blue does have that suitcase. But it's in a position that's really not going to be easy to, to um, get. Especially when we have Vladimir guarding it. So it, uh... Yeah, that's still up there. Vlad is on the uh, on the case, though. He knows they're coming. Is the crits going to be popped, though? Uh, it is, but Vlad somehow stay alive. Just kidding. Vinkill comes in and finishes him off with a rocket. But Vlad did touch the suitcase as it had respawned. Uh, so some crazy um, fast action going on right there. So well played from Vlad to um, not only... Well, to get out of the way of the combo coming in, but then also touch it as it was... Uh, save his team a, l a few seconds. Uh, however, Blue will easily recapture right there because they had the good amount of player presence um, in the area, but Red is going to come in and try to make it as difficult for them as possible. Uh, Red Med with that Ubersaw out as well gets the vaccine. They are able to pop it on uh, oh, resistance to explosives, but can't uh, resist that shoddy from User. Wow, User, I, I don't... Has he used his flamethrower yet? But it doesn't matter, I guess, when you're that good with the shoddy. Uh, anyway, we'll see we'll see that uh, that pyro do some nice shoddy action. Not something you necessarily think would be his uh, purpose of bringing a, a pyro here on Doomsday. But we will see. Remember, we are at 1-1. One, one. Uh, we are in overtime. So whoever captures this will take it and then we'll go to a second half, I believe. Or this is going to be the last one and whoever takes this will take it all. So it is looking very much in the favor of TLPM right now as Tycoon is the only one alive. But Tycoon is one of those jumping classes. But look at this reflex right there out of Ring Me. So does know how to use that uh, flamethrower and that M2 income or the rest of Red Team has respawned. But will they be able to get here onto the platform? Those jumping classes obviously could be the most important and Scout too. Uh, but some nice air blasting again from user might be able to salvage his first team. No, his legs aren't long enough to stay on that platform. Zebra, meanwhile, getting another Uber saw. No big deal, but then he jumps off the cliff. <laughs> oh, that's not good for blue team right here. They need those overheals in order to stay on this platform. User does have 100%. Um, heals right now, so he may be able to make it, but they've got to watch out for this jumping uh, soldier and Sonomi as well. Tycoon and Sonomi do both go down. Finally, user gets finished off, and now we're going to have to wait for the awful respawn time again, unless... Yeah, Gamer does pick it up pretty easily right there. It's actually going through the floor of the platform. I don't know, whatever. Um, so it will hold on to it for Blue a little, just a little bit longer. But that was super, super close, and uh, CC doesn't like the way that felt. So they're going to <laughs> try everything to just get that uh, intel back to neutral territory where they could possibly pick it up and possibly end this game, because I think this is going to be the last round. As we have some wicked scout on scout action, user is going to finish off Tsunami with the shotgun. Um, sometimes Flamethrower is way OP, or is over overplayed. Just like, you know. 
I'm a, he's a hipster pyro who will use a shotgun. Something like that. Maybe air blast would work right there, but not with the vaccinator. Oh, falls off the platform. Uh, gamer does have this. Oh snap, we have a sniper in the house and he just took out uh, crit ready zebra. Zebra drops crits right there, but it doesn't matter because he did not get the spy or scout, which is the one that's important. But oh, don't worry, Tycoon is on the. Oh my goodness, Sanomi now with another headshot. Sanomi, I think I know what his main is is sniper and his taken names and um, kick him butt. Because uh, he just had two really important headshots in a row right there. And that will save it for his team for the moment. Respawned Intel back to neutral colors. Who's going to get there first? It's not going to be Gamer. It's not going to be Sonomi now that he's not a fast scout. It is going to be <laughs> Zebra with the Uber saw. <laughs> Uh, well, he'll survive. He's uh, not going to get the intel. It looks like he's going to... Oh, wait. Somebody already s absconded with the intel. Who was it? Who was it? It is Tycoon. Tycoon, who is the only one left alive for Red. Red just now getting some of these respawns. We'll see if they can get to the place that the suitcase is. But it's a tricky place, especially uh, when you have a blue player standing right on top of it. Literally. We do a charge of crits ready to go. So we'll get on Vin Kill, see if he gets some of this crits. Uh, where does Zebra go is the question. Probably off Uber sign somebody. She's that medic, am I right? No, 4v4, definitely the place to have fun. If anywhere in TF2, 4v4 on Doomsday is the place where you should bring out the Ubersaw and have a good time. Uh, Chris was popped apparently on Gamer on top of the platform and they're slowly going to the skies and the heavens. Uh, three up for red though is going to make it very, very difficult. And one of them is this pesky scout who just keeps sending a ton of damage their way. That's Sonomi who's gone back to scout. I say stay on Sniper if it works, you know. Gamer doing a good job escaping damage and then getting back onto the platform to get time. Uh, super, super close now. The compartment is almost opening, but he had to abandon it in order to stay alive. He is so hurt and so dead. Vladimir putting took me out with a shotty. Vladimir also loving the shotgun. The little bunch of hipster pyros we got going on here who don't like... Oh, God. Oz with the Uber saw there. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, Oz is still on that uh, vaccinator, so we, we can't get on his camera. I'm sorry. We just can't. Unless you want my ears to cry. Uh, that suitcase is neutral. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? It is going to be red team with the pyro. Sonomi is backing them up. Uh, still running that... Uh, that vaccinator, uh, not really finishing anybody off right there. So it's too hard to really engage too much right here. Maybe you pick off a uh, gamer as he runs away, but uh, Sonomi really, really hurt. Uh, and they are all on the lift. And I'm not sure if the lift goes faster if you have more people on it, but it would seem that it'd be easiest to just leave the person with the suitcase on it and then everyone else try to get the frags to kill people to protect it. And also watch the freaking sky because soldiers are coming out of nowhere on this map. Vinkil does go down. Vladimir Putin finished him off. And uh, that is one out of four down for Bloom. But uh, Red needs them all down in order to get a good shot. There goes Gamer. Uh, it's two for four, but Vinkil is already alive. These spawn times, uh, they're not too bad. About 10 between 20 and 10 and 15 seconds um but man when it takes at least like 15 seconds to get this stupid thing to the top it is definitely uh definitely dangerous we do have the compartment opening it looks like Vladimir Putin will be able to get that suitcase in there yes it's closing it is going to Mars abandoned ship and that will be the win for Colt Cuddlers into triple quadruple overtime and a nice little scrim right there 4v4 these are your final scores uh, I definitely want to see more sniper there I think sniper has a place in uh, 4v4 and I think Sonobi showed it right there I think we could have seen a little bit more of it but uh, whatever to each his own or her own anyway guys thanks so much for watching um, check out any 4v4 you can um, Play in some scrims and some pugs. Watch for the UGC upcoming season. And uh, thank Vladimir Putin who sent this to me. I'm glad I could finally get a glimpse of Doomsday 4v4. Which I think is so far my favorite one to at least cast. Um, that was that was really fun. I like that. I, I'm going to play that. I, got, I gotta get 
I'm gonna get gonna get a team together or something. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you want a, if you have a match you want to see casted, definitely hit me up at kiptf2 at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at, at kiptf2. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.